read? Well, Bainham picked up the latest Argos catalogue, like anybody does when it comes out. I think it's only been out a day or two. And I couldn't help but notice, as like any time that I buy an, when I buy an Argos catalogue, I am the only person in Britain who buys them. When I pick up an Argos catalogue, you know, you go straight at the back and say, oh, what toys is in there, Which what new stuff they've got in. And I couldn't help but notice... I guess Lego must be the the hottest thing right now because, I mean, there's about 10 pages, if not more, of Lego stuff. I've never seen as much Lego stuff in an Argos catalogue in my life. That being said, this is not an Argos catalogue review. I just wanted to sort of make a point before I started. This is a Lego blind figure review. Um, here's more of the series. <laughs> More of the Series 8, 5 to be exact, uh, they were getting sold off in Tesco's sort of nigh on half price, so I picked up some really good ones last time, so I thought every time I'm passing I'll just pick a couple up or one or two up type of thing when I'm passing past and I'm getting a few more, went into date and I had none left, so this is going to be the last of the batch, wish is luck, hopefully I'll get some more pretty cool figures. I have had a good rake and fail on them, so I feel fairly confident, but let's have a laugh if I get stuff that I don't want. I want the bat. That's the one I want, the bat. Whether I'm getting the bat, I don't know. Who's this one? Oh, wow, it's Robin Hood. Or somebody who looks similar to him. Right, I'll just quickly build him up. Is he Austrian, this guy? He's got a pretzel -y thing. Is that where pretzels come from, Austria? I don't know. He's got a pretty nice little tash and nice cheesy grin there, so... And a pretzel. Guess he holds it in the middle. Not really a, a pretzel connoisseur, so... Hard to know. Which way to put it, really? Oh, and he comes with a spare feather for his cap as well, which is always, it's always handy. There you go. So there's the, I guess, Austrian dude. They don't really have, like, any kind of names for these, do they? On the sort of description-y sheet you get. So I don't have him, so that's nice. Uh, I'll quickly just show you this in case you're watching for the very first time. Right, I do have the robot, too, of... Did I get him? I'm not sure I did. Now got him. I've got her. Don't have him. Have him. Uh, I do want the businessman. That'll be pretty cool. The bat dude. This guy with the skull will be nice. Um, so there you go. Hopefully see what we'll get in these other four. Going to be lots of pretzels. <laughs> Ooh, what's this one? Uh, oh, this could be the businessman. It is! Get in! And I've chucked his newspaper down here so if I can carefully rescue it. Not very carefully at all. There we go. Cool! Right. I know uh, my Mara's got this dude. He, uh, he commented on the other video to see Adam, so chuffed to have picked him up. He even comes with glasses on. He looks a little bit like Ned Fanders. But yes, the uh, the top hat is very reminiscent of Mr. Ben. And a pretty cool briefcase. Get on there. Oh, wait now. Stop acting up, land. There. It's his briefcase and his newspaper. I'll stick that down there for him to read later on. There you go. Nice one. Right. Oh, well, that's... Two out of five so far are ones that I needed. Let's have a look. Let's have a look who this one is. It's the pirate. Right. Well, I've already got the pirate, bro. I will quickly build him up just in case. Like I say, you know, you haven't seen him before, so you get to see what the pirate's all about. He is a pretty good figure, like, um, if you're into that type of thing. Uh, he comes with a feather there, and he's he's nice. Uh, a sword. 
I do like it when you get a pirate who's into his bling. Nice pure gold sword. Never did anybody any harm. So that's the first uh, swap of this pack so far. Let's see what this one is. This one is. Oh, it's the cheerleader. Yeah, well, that wasn't really one I was necessarily wanting, but uh, I'd rather have this than a swap. I did kind of for ages feel this bit which is obviously a ponytail and I could a uh, heck figure out who it was but it's the cheerleader so there you go don't know what the ear stands for I'm assuming probably something like uh, I don't know, Alaska <laughs> does Alaska have a cheerleading team I'm gonna probably assume yes and you can put our pom poms on as well. So you see, got nice, nice big round firm pom poms there. Like every uh, cheerleader should have. Get on. There we go. Ah, she's actually not bad looking. Um, a lot of these mini figures, the when you kind of see them on the packets and stuff, you kind of think, eh, I'm not so bothered about that one. But when you get them in the flesh, they're actually pretty cool. Right, so if this one's got the bat, I'll probably cry a little bit. But you won't see that because my face is off camera. It's the American footballer. Well, that's pretty good because uh, now I've got the cheerleader to cheer him on. Try to move my legs before it falls off. My leg, not the Lego leg. Well, that's not a bad little batch, that leg. Um, getting all them ones that I needed. I'll quickly do a review of this series now then to see who I've got and who I still to get. Kind of makes us wish I'd picked a few more up now when I saw them going cheap. But hey ho, that's that's just what happens with the uh, when you see a bargain. If you didn't pick it up, you're gonna miss out. And it comes with a big cup there. So she can go get, hey Mickey, you're so fire, you're so fire, you don't blow my mind. Nice, very cool, I like the shoulder pads and stuff, the new addition. I do like the way that the, the eyes line up in the slots, not that you can see, because the Jason's Technicolor dream coat's in the background there. Right, a quick review of who I've actually now got. I'll do the, um... If you've ever seen the History of the World Part 1, you'll know what I'm talking about, but basically I'll start at the top. If I've got them, I'll say yes. If I haven't, I'll say no. So it's yes, no, yes, 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 no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. So there you go. Stay tuned for more Lego blind bag figures when I pick them up. Uh, obviously I will be waiting to get them for a good price. Uh, I think £2 a pop is uh, somewhat too pricey for these. A pound is probably ideal. Uh, less than that is even better. And any other blind bags that I kind of pick up because I do likes me blind bags. So I will catch you later on.